and welcome to Cookery School. Today we're going to show you how to make a very quick and simple sweet short crust pastry for your Christmas mince pies. Thanks Josie. Right, before you begin making your pastry you put everything out so it's all ready. No rushing about to look for ingredients when you're in the middle of doing it. We need to separate some eggs. Eggs are a bit tricky to separate, most people think, but there are. There is an easy way. I'm going to show you two ways. You may want to know why I've got so many bowls. Well, we are going to separate the whites from the yolks. The whites are going to go into one bowl and the yolks are going to go into another. But you never just keep separating into one bowl because if you did that, you put your first white in and then you break a yolk over it. If the yolk breaks, then it'll spoil all those whites. You always want to keep your whites very pure for future use. We don't want to waste them. We're very environmentally aware. So you want to make sure that your whites are always kept clean. So you put your whites into a separate bowl, your yolks into another bowl, and you always break into a clean bowl. So here we go. Break your egg. Just crack it, hold it upright. Don't actually, you don't have to worry too much about all that stuff where people are throwing the egg, shell from, the egg from side to side in a shell. The only reason you do that is to try and clear it. There we go, got a nice clean yolk. In it goes. Put your whites into one bowl. Got it? Got it. Did you do that? Good. Like to hear that. Hold it upright. Up it goes. Let all the white come out. White out. There you go. You've got your yolk. Whites into a separate bowl. You never keep putting everything into the same bowl. And if you're really nervous about doing that, you can crack your egg and open your egg, put it into your hand like that. There you go. Pull that off. There you go. Perfect whites and five perfect yolks that we need for our pastry. So that's going to join our pastry. We're going to keep that. You can even freeze them and use at some later date. Right, I've come back, washed my hands and we are ready to roll. Two secrets with pastry, don't overmix it and keep it as cold as you can. So, in goes our flour. Nice flour, nice ordinary, you can use pastry flour, plain flour, both will work. Bit of salt, pinch of salt, because our butter is unsalted. If you're using salted butter, then you don't need the salt, the additional salt. Some sugar, because we're making a sweet short crust pastry. Nice firm butter, in the butter goes, don't worry too much about what the butter looks like. And in go our egg yolks. And all we're going to do is we're going to take the whole lot and we're going to blend them together. And we'll pulse it to start with. And now we're just going to, it's looking like breadcrumbs, we're just going to mix it all the way. It's going to pull together because the butter will soften the egg yolks will pull it together and we're going to get a beautiful short crust pastry. As soon as it starts pulling together, we stop. Watch. There we go. Started to pull together. You could hear the machine make a different sound. And here you have the most perfect short crust pastry. What we're going to do is we're going to put it into a bowl in the fridge. Always fridge it before you use it. And that can be used for your mince pies, apple pies, any other pies you want. It's melt in the mouth because it's got a very high butter content. Great, thank you. You made that look so easy. It is. And if you'd like to make your own pastry, then come and join us at Cookery School. Cookery School. Learning that lasts.